Guys, only of Ife was terrified over the vision the son of Obomosho had concerning Queen Naomi's return to the palace. They said the son visited uh, Onu of Ife, even though a lot of people said it's a political visit. But you know that uh, uh, after, they said after the visit that they entered inside for a serious discussion, and it was all about Queen Naomi. For the interest of those who did not know who this son of Obomosho is, they said, let me just give you a little history of the man. His, new, his real name is Prince Afolabi Gandhi Olawuye, and he was born in August 23, 1961. He graduated in 1982 from the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University in Nigeria, formerly known as University of Ife, with a BA honor in English and Literary Studies. He also hold a master's degree in industrial and labor relation in the year 1987 with emphasis on human resources management from Nigerian Premier University, University of Ibadan. He is a visionary leader and an entrepreneur. Gandhi Olayo is the CEO of Peculiar People Management and the Peculiar Speakers, which are management and human resource consulting companies. He is also the chairman of Great Places to Work Institute Nigeria, a global research and management consultancy, consultancy pro, uh, company that recognizes the best workplace in over 56 countries worldwide and provides premier business and adversary services. In addition, he is the chairman of both Quest Oil, Quest Oil and Gas and Quest Engineering Company. Gandhi served on the Board of Trustees of Strategy for Mentoring, Initiative, and Leadership Empowerment. As a young entrepreneurship for development and non-profit organization, he also served on the Board of a Smile on Their Face Initiative, a non-profit initiative focus group for people living with disabilities. He is also an associate of International Third World Leaders Association, chaired by the late Dr. Miles Munro, a forum, a forum created for the exchange of cross-cultural ideas globally. He represents Miles Munro International in Nigeria. In January 20, 2009, Gandhi was invited to serve as an advisor and the council member on the Council for New Americans by the Maryland State Governor of the United States of America, Governor Martin O'Malley. While he served as a four-year tenor on the council, he assisted the governor for, to form policies on immigrant integration into the state of Maryland. Gandhi served as the chairman over a real estate development project in Florida, Texas, USA, where he oversaw the development of over 700 acres, uh, acres of a campus which comprises of a college, housing estate, and a 20,000-seater auditorium. Mr. Olayo is an influential community leader recognized both in Nigeria by former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo in, 20, in 2001 and in the United States of America by President Barack Obama in 2011. He is the recipient of various awards, which include the Youth Empowerment and Positive Mentoring of Africans in the Diaspora Award, which was conferred by the African Business Roundtable in December 2008. He has, he has been featured in many newspapers and elect electronic media. He enjoys traveling and has been, over 60, has been to over 65 countries in Europe, Asia, Australia, the Caribbean, North and South America, the Pacific Island, and Africa. His, his other interests include swimming and playing scrabbles. Afolabigan the Olaya is an ordinary, is an ordained pastor at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and he is married with two children. Following his nomination by the Obomosho Kingmakers and the approval by Governor of Oyo State, he is the new son of Bomo Sholand. Mm. Ah, wow.
So he visited a uh, Oni of Ife, in as much as uh, a lot of people said is a political business. But he used the opportunity to tell KBSC that he had been having this vision over and over and over again. That this time around, it was too, uh, as it, it sounds as like a warning to him that he should warn KBSC, and that is why he had decided to come. That KBSC should make haste where there is still time. That this Quinomis return does not need much. Uh, entertainment and all of that, that he needed to bring Quinomi back to the palace as fast as possible, as these people are planning something too bad. And with Quinomi in his palace, he might be, she will help him, she will help him to stop certain manipulations and the uh, gang up by the people. That he needs Quinomi around him now more than ever. And when this information got to KBS, they say KBS was a bit terrified. It's not as if he's not making an effort to bring Queen Naomi back. After all, we have been told that it is going to happen this June. But the question is, how fast? When in June, although they said they have fixed a date, but the second BSC was like, do you know why the second BSC was a bit terrified? What if something happened and it did not happen? She did not return. Because the wives are threatening. The wives are not ready to leave her. KBSC need to take drastic action for them to leave. And that is what they said this uh, 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 Afolabi is telling him. That anything you have to do right now to bring Quinomi back to the palace, you better do it. You don't necessarily need so much uh, celebration and entertainment and all of that. That all she need right now is to be by your side and feel relaxed so that he, she will be able to fight the battle. The battle ahead is very strong and she is the only one that can support you do it. For those of you who are saying that uh, Queen Naomi is a Christian, what is she doing with a traditionalist? This Obomosho is a Christian, a pastor indeed, yet he is the custodian of traditional rulers. Can't you see that? Yes, he is a, an Oba. And in Yoruba land, they believe that an Oba is the custodian of their tradition, of their culture and tradition. Then, a, a pastor is sitting on that, suit, on that seat. Don't you see that Queen Naomi's mission in the palace is for a reason, and that mission have not been fulfilled. Don't be surprised at the end of the day, Quinomi will be able to convert KBS. But that does not mean that he will not be for his people. He can never be against his people because of Quinomi. But Quinomi have a mission to fulfill in the palace. That is what they said this man is telling KBS, that he should make his where the, where the, why the sun shine. <laughs> because when it will get dark, it will be very difficult for him to find the black goods. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. Love you guys.